today is the first part of an open-ended mission to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames. Oh my word, what are the chances of that? It's just so green, it's on the moon thing this is not doing at all, would you? Huge roads, around here, huge roads, but almost no traffic. Anyway, lots of last minute planning later. 1,320 minutes. We're going to be waiting a while then, I think. Good morning everyone and welcome to the seventh episode of Mission Thames, our long-term project to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames from east to west. You join us here at Richmond Station, the last time I was here I was at the Amazon Fresh just around the corner wondering um, how I managed to pay for things when I leave, I did manage to pay. Um, and today we're going to be starting here at Richmond and heading west as always. Uh, continuing the crossings of the River Thames, maybe even getting out of Greater London today, which will be very, very exciting. I'm just going to head down um, along this way, I remember from last time, to get the, our first road bridge done of the day, which is going to be Richmond Bridge. Wow, the Thames is flowing really fast today. As we cross our first crossing of the River Thames, Richmond Bridge today. Yeah, I would not want to go kayaking in that this afternoon. That is Twickenham Bridge, which is the road bridge we finished on last time. And we see a South Western Railway service is going to and from London Waterloo, running just behind as well. Okay, so we are now west of the river, the Thames sort of runs north-south here at Richmond, like at Westminster. We arrived at Cresswell Road bus stop awaiting our next bus which is going to take us to a ferry. For the first time since Rotherhive we'll be getting on, on a ferry. I'll explain more details about it when we get down there, it'll be very exciting. Here comes our bus, the rather interesting looking R70 which will be taking to Orleans Park School which is a bus stop closest to the ferry. One of the brand new Wright's GB Kite buses. And completely empty. High back seating and the high spec interiors, which is very nice. What a very fancy bus. It's my first time on one of these. A very pleasant bus ride on board a brand new bus. Let's get to our ferry. Very narrow street. This ferry is not signed well at all, so if you want to get on it, you have to really consult the map carefully. And here's the ferry. It's one of the little boats going to take me just across. This is the River Thames well, it looks really narrow, doesn't it? Uh, just for hand, please. Looks like we've got our own personal ferry. We stay seated at all times. Does this count as personal rapid transit? Ferry, which annoyingly only runs on weekdays between March and October, but still very exciting ferry taking us across the bank to Ham. I can feel the boat being pulled to the side because of the currents. Actually, my Cambridge interview about boats being less in currents. This is the real life embodiment of that. Anyway, we're across the river already. Really? 
What a delightful ferry. We're just gonna go back across the river to collect up some more passengers. This is definitely one of the stranger crossings of the River Thames at Hamilton's Ferry. Let me do some research and tell you some facts about it. So the Hamilton's Ferry is a family-owned ferry by the Spencer family. I assume one of the guy that just drove us over is one of the Spencer family. Opened in 1909, so it's one of the newer ferries in London. And it's one of four in London. You can take bikes on it as well, which is very, very convenient. Single fare at the moment is £2, which is quite reasonable. I mean, the alternative is to swim, really, isn't it, if you want to get to the other side of the River Thames. We're going to take a lovely walk through the Ham House Gardens now. Um, please put a picture, editing note, please put a picture of a ham on the screen every time I say ham. Um, because we're going to be going through ham, we'll be saying ham quite a lot because we're going to walk into a bus stop. This is Ham House, which is what the ferry exists for, to provide passengers a route to get to this. I'm guessing... Victorian, maybe earlier, house. And they wanted to, they wanted me to pay to go in. I'm not doing that, unfortunately. It's a lovely house, but we have places that we need to be, we have places that we need to be. Horses. Hello, horse. I shall call you Tesco. On the list of strange places that I've been, in this series. It's a pretty shot, actually, of a house. This comes close. This doesn't feel like London anymore, does it? Little roads, green space area everywhere. Well, we are very, very close to the Greater London boundary. I'll tell you the very moment that we do cross the Greater London boundary. But for now, we are catching a 3, 7 and 1 bus to complete our next crossing of the River Thames. And welcome to the Ham Street bus stop. Sounds slightly familiar. I think there's a train station on the Southern Network down near Ashford, which is called Ham Street. This is probably completely unrelated. We have got in time here for our bus. It should be coming around the corner at any moment. Now, our free to one bus, which will be taking down to Teddington Lock, which will be our next crossing of the river. Got a very nice electric E200 MMC on this service today. This part of London certainly does seem to be keeping up to date with its buses. These bus routes do certainly feel very What's the word? Local. Very local and green and pretty. I wouldn't have any reason at all to come down to this part of London if it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't for this challenge. Lock Road, that's a bus stop which sounds like it's close to a river. I feel like I've just got off in the middle of nowhere, I'll be honest. That's our 33, 33, 371 heads off bound for Kingston. This bus route runs between Richmond and Kingston. Surprisingly frequent and quite busy as well, every 10 minutes. It's unusual for this part of outer London. Anyway, for our next crossing of the Thames is going to be, as the name of the bus stop suggests, Teddington Lock. And after walking about 5 minutes, welcome to Teddington Lock. I can already see the footbridge in the distance. Teddington Lock is actually made up of two crossings separated by a small island in the middle. They're called the East Footbridge and the West Footbridge, um, respectively. There is the Teddington Lock itself. I suppose it's looking west or south. It's away from London. And this is looking towards London. And here is the Western Footbridge. Over the other part of the River Thames, this is more of a suspension bridge style. Wow, there's three planes in the air there, can you see? 
all flying very, very close to one another. This is also the River Thames. Here's our 281 bus, which is going to be our next connection to Hampton Wick Station. For Tolworth. I swear we've got the 281 before at some point. Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering something, but it does sound familiar. Anyway, we're here at Hampton Wick Station, which is on the. What line is it on? It's on the Kingston Loop of the South Western Railway Network. I've never really had any reason to again go on this bit of line, so it's very exciting to finally be able to um, travel on the Kingston line. We'll be getting a South Western Railway service over to Kingston itself. Uh, and at King, between here and Kingston, we'll be crossing over the River Thames on the Kingston Railway Bridge. Welcome to Hampton Wick Railway Station's platforms. Located in Fair Zone 6, it's one of the furthest out stations uh, in the London Fair Zone network. You can get services here um, run between Shepparton and Waterloo, and also on loop service between Waterloo and Waterloo via Richmond and. Um, via Richmond and Kingston, as in comes a 455 doing exactly that. Here comes our service, also 455, led by 455863, on a Shepparton to Waterloo service. Which we're taking, as mentioned, just across the river to Kingston. This is Hampton Wick. This train is for London Waterloo. The next station is Kingston. Oh, yeah, this, this 455's got new announcements, didn't they? We don't have Celia anymore, which is a bit sad. Here we are, here's the Thames. We should have already be arriving into Kingston Railway Station. That was very short, wasn't it? for the 701s I noticed. At the time of recording 701s are still not in service. Although there's a single 701 which operates a daily service to Windsor but that's about it. It's good to see that South Western Railway have reintroduced guards on their services as well which is nice to see. Kingston is going having a bit of a funny moment because its main bus station is closed due to works. So all the buses from Kingston are departing in very strange places, so I'll need some time to figure that out, I think. So it is lunch time. As we sit in Kingston City Centre, which is quite a nice place to get lunch, actually. So I'll see you again in a few minutes with a full stomach. See you after the break. YouTube might play you an advert if it's feeling particularly horrible. This is about to be a momentous occasion because this will be the bus which will be taking out of Greater London. This is the 461 operated by Falcon Buses. That's okay, that's okay. How much does it usually pay? I don't know, it's my first time getting this bus, so. Where are you going? Is it a return you want? Walking. Okay, never mind. Just go <laughs> no worries, thank you. Hmm, the ticket machine's not working. Now this bus is a bit of a god route really, because it allows us to tick off not one, not two, but three crossings of the River Thames, which is very 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 exciting. We're on this bus for around 40 minutes actually, so it's quite a long run, but it takes us out of Kingston, um, through Hampton Court, through um, like the lower part of um, Sunbury, stuff like that, and then we eventually get to Walken on Thames, which is our final destination. 
And we're about to make our first of one of those free crossings, which is Kingston Bridge. Just a little bit further upstream from the railway bridge that we crossed just a few minutes ago. Fun fact about the 461. The 461 bus route has a thing called Oyster Fair Match. So that means if you are travelling on the route 461 within the boundaries of Greater London, that is i.e. between Kingston and Hampton Court, um, you pay the standard Oyster Fair of £1.75 and not the standard single fare of £2. Court railway station is very very close by, that's the palace itself. And it is at this point where we go over our next bridge, which is Hampton Court Bridge, where we cross the boundary between Greater London and Surrey. very first time since we were in Dartford, we have now left Greater London and we are now in Surrey. <coughs> See on the map that we are pretty closely following the course of the Thames as we head further west. We can definitely go faster on the roads than we can in London here which is very nice. London is like all 20 miles an hour, here we can get up to 40 which is very pleasant. Thank you. Well, that was quite a long, but a very pleasant bus ride nonetheless. We're on our 461. We've just got off in Walton on Thames. We could get this bus route over the Thames for one more crossing of the river, but I've noticed that our next bus is just lagging slightly behind. Um, we're running just slightly late, so I do want to make sure that we get on that bus. Oh, yes, I had a lovely chat with the uh, a lady on the 461. Uh, who is travelling to Adelston at the very terminus of the 461 bus route. Um, she knows the area very well, she's lived in the area her whole life. And so, oh god no, it was very useful for her to provide some insight on the bus routes in the area. And she says that our next bus, the 555 to Heathrow Airport, is very reliable and it always turns up. So that's a good sign. This is our 555 which we'll be taking across our next crossing of the River Thames and to Shepparton High Street. It is a street light which is why I said oh no. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard our 555, which is an incredibly rapidly bus. As with all street lights, this one is particularly bad. The seats on this bus are incredibly comfortable, though, there's sort of leather effect eating. As we get all oh, this is quite a nice bridge actually. It's quite a fancy bridge as we cross our next crossing of the river, which is Walton Bridge. Can't actually quite see the river yet. I assume it'll be a bit further along. Here is the river, you can just about see it. There we go, that's looking east. And that's looking west. You can see it's quite a is this a suspension bridge? I'm not too sure what kind of bridge this is. But it's a cool bridge, it's got an arch, sort of arch shaped structure on it. We're going to continue on until we get to Shepparton City Centre. City Centre? Shepparton Town Centre. Sorry, Shepparton. Uh, and then from there we'll get another bus which to tick off our final crossing of the day. Thank you. And welcome to Shepparton High Street as our 555 continues off its journey towards Heathrow Terminals 2 and 3 by Heathrow Terminal 4. There is no nice way of putting that. That was an absolutely horrible bus. Not a nice bus at all. Considering that bus is less than 10 years old, it's already falling to pieces. On the plus side though, seats are very comfortable. 
hoping we don't get a street light for our next bus, uh, which is getting from the bus stop just across the road in a few minutes' time, which is the 557 bus, which will be getting to Chertsey. Shepparton, obviously the terminus of the Shepparton branch of the uh, South Western Railway Network. The station is just up there up the road. Um, yeah, seems to be a very average Surrey town, really, I'll be honest. Thank you. And we're back with Falcon buses, this time on the 557 bus, which we are taking from here to Chertsey. It is so, so, so useful that all single bus fares in the UK are £2. Because I can get on any bus just knowing that the fare will be £2 makes things so much less stressful. And this is a brand new Enviro 200 MMC, 73 plate. So it's much more pleasant than the street like we were on earlier. And we're doing this to cross, to cross our final crossing of the River Thames of the day, which is Chertsey Bridge. So we're going for our final crossing of the River Thames today. Here at Chertsey Bridge. Chertsey Bridge. The current really is very strong today in the Thames. Chertsey Bridge. And that is the view looking north where they are facing now. That's north. Very lovely ride on the 557. Thank you. And this is where we're going to finish our video today. As our 557 to Adelston heads off. Thank you all very, very much for watching this video of episode, um, Mission Thames this is episode number 7. I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, then why not click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. Uh, unfortunately today we have had to skip two crossings, namely ferries. Those being the Sunbury Ferry, the Hampton Ferry, and uh, oh yes, the Firth Ferry, also the Shepparton to Weybridge Ferry. Because on the day that I happened to come to London, um, the River Thames um, has been issued a red warning due to the strong current, uh, which means that no ferries are able to operate west of Shepparton, which makes um, um, that very difficult. I will make another dedicated video at some point just for those ferries. Uh, for Mission Thames episode number 8 when the strong river currents in the Thames subside. But for now, I have a bus to catch. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone, and goodbye from Chertsey.